audio malfunction last time. I recorded all of this and have to do it again. That's fine. I'm not upset. All right, so welcome back to more Earth 2 videos. Thank you for your patience. I said that they'd be coming this week, and they are. And there are a lot of things that is just different about Earth 2, uh, and there's a lot to it. It's one of those things where, more so than I think a lot of people understand, is Earth 2 is like a game. It's it's a kind of a game first, and also a metaverse almost second you know what i mean like it, it's one of those things where like there's so many gamification aspects to it and i think people's frustration with this a lot of people like talk about like it's a scam it's this it's that it's like no it's it's a game in pre 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 alpha like people are not used to seeing games at such a fundamentally small level and so it just takes a lot of time for things to come together um and uh and we're seeing like the super early early days of that so uh, i think where i want to start with is i want to kind of walk you through like the user interface the navigations um kind of what certain things are and uh kind of just uh kind of break it down like little bit by little bit um and get you familiarized with where it sits right now as of march so the first thing you're going to want to do is when you sign up you need to uh enable two-factor identification And two-factor identification is um, something that's pretty common with a lot of stuff, but typically it manifests itself in like just you'll get an email and you got to sign to the email and then hit yes, I'm signing in. Here, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to download an authenticator. So I use Google Authenticator and what's going to happen is you connect everything and then there'll be six digits that will count uh, and there will be a timer like a 30 second counter that will count down at the end of that 30 seconds it changes the number uh, enter in those six digits into where it's asking you to before the timer runs out and hit authenticate or sign in and it'll work it's a little confusing but it's not super bad like once you like know what it's asking for um, I, it's the first time I've ever used an authenticator to have to log in a two factor identification so it was a little bit different, but like it's not complicated. Just make sure you don't delete the authenticator and remember your login because I don't know how you log in without it. <laughs> so and you don't have to do it every time. It's just every once in a while. Now let's also just go through uh, this top row here. So it starts with buy land marketplace leaderboards, uh, kind of like a activity like um, notification log, um, how to new support. We'll get to that stuff later don't worry about satellite search for later i want to talk about what's up here at the top right now so the first thing you see t1 and then it's got like a number if, depending on if when you bought land you might not see you might not actually see like a number here i'll go into the different tier of land there's tier one and tier two for land tiles i'll go into the difference between those in a later video but just know if you bought land before like the november update of last year then you have some tier one designation land You'll get free essence for that. And so now let's talk about that next thing right there, that E, that green number. That is the amount of essence you have. And I will go into how you get essence and things down the road. But for right now, know that essence doesn't really do anything. It's going to be a cryptocurrency that Earth 2 will use for certain transactions later on down the road. But for right now, it is simply a number that will be good later to have. So that's how much essence you have. Next we have this white number, and that is your liquid uh, liquid money uh, in, in the Earth 2. The E dollar sign is kind of like Earth 2's uh, re regular cryptocurrency, and that is, that is on a one-to-one -one dollar rate. Like, this is probably, like, it's probably going to be like a tether coin, right? Like, that's the thing. It's like, Ether will likely be the cryptocurrency that fluctuates and, like, the market price changes and stuff. Uh, this is more of, like, a tether coin, meaning that it's always going to be one-to-one -one of the American dollar. So... Um, this is how much money that you can withdraw right now. Like that, I can withdraw that $28 and it's mine to have. Next is this yellow number and that is the net worth of my tiles. So this, I cannot withdraw that $903 if I wanted to right now. I would have to sell 
my assets first, then it would convert that into white money, and then I'd be able to withdraw that white money. So that's kind of how those numbers work right there. Then you have mail and notifications. What you're gonna see in both mail and notifications uh, as you log in every day is that you have jewels to claim. And now, uh, basically, I'll go into jewels later. There'll be a whole separate video about jewels, but just claim them every day. Log in, claim all your jewels. If you don't claim them within like five to seven days, they go away. Uh, different land that you have just generates jewels automatically. So just go in, generate those. There's a couple different ways you can claim them. You can either claim them right there through the messages, or you go into profile, you can go into resources, and you can hit claim all. And just always claim all the jewels every day. Again, I'll go more into those later, but if you have land, they're probably generating jewels daily, if not daily, like every other day. So make sure you get those. All right, there's going to be a lot of stuff up here, raw materials, blueprints, building blocks, other, uh, really all you're getting right now in resources is just jewels. So um, luckily it's not too, too much uh, all at once. And as those other things get rolled out, I'll explain more of those later. Uh, slotting and selling, don't worry about that right now either. We're going to talk about that when we get into the jewels video. This is just kind of walking you through the actual interface and uh, everything. You can hop over to the bazaar. Uh, I'll do another video talking about the bazaar as well, but that's just where you can buy and sell jewels. So if you want to put them up on a on the bazaar, the marketplace is for land. The bazaar is for resources. So the bazaar is where you would sell jewels and buy jewels. And uh, again, we'll go into why you'd want to do that a little bit later. We're gonna hop over to uh, your profile. And now for the profile, it's the first time you log in, you're just going to say you are able to build mentors on all of your properties for free. Um, hit yes to this. And what happens when you hit yes is you're going to, it's going to take 14 days to build a mentor on all of your properties. And you are going to want to log in at least seven times within those 14 days in order to complete the building process for the mentors. If you don't, you're probably gonna have to buy one on each property individually, which you don't want to do. You need mentors on your properties to refine ether into essence. I'll explain what those are later, but again, just know it's good and you want to be doing that. And it's going to be one of those things where every day after it's set up, every day when you log in, you're going to claim your jewels. You're going to find your essence, your ether into essence. Just mind those. Again, right now, there's not a whole lot of functionality built into a lot of these things, but they're setting it up early to where you can start generating these resources that are going to be valuable later. This is to encourage people to become early adopters, start using the systems, and then get acquainted with everything so that as things roll out, it's not so much to learn all at once. It kind of has led you into the process at a relatively like slow rate. You're just going to pick your time zone. This is important for just their system to make sure that you're logging in like on calendar days based on your time zone. So enter that in. So if you scroll down, you'll see like all of your properties are on your main profile page and you can see that you can buy a mentor in each one of them. I think it's like $5 equivalent, like $5 to build one. It builds it instantly. So if, so if you don't want to wait for a uh, mentor uh, to be built, you can just go ahead and uh, log in and do that. Um, but again, right now there's really no rush. Like don't spend the money on it. Just like let it go. You can see a bunch of information about your your properties and stuff on this page. So you can see here, you can put your stuff up for sale. Like there's a bunch of different ways to get to a lot of different things here. And a lot of it is honestly pretty self-explanatory. You can sell the stuff, set your sale price, put up in the marketplace. And then if someone wants it, they can buy it from you or they can bid for it. Now people can bid, people can place bids on properties that are not set up for sale. And then you have the ability to accept the bid or counter offer the bid. Now, if you want to bid on other properties, then you have to basically uh, carve out that money. So like if you want to put a $500 bid on a property, you can't do that unless you have that $500 that you can basically lock off for if that bid gets approved. But if it gets denied or you cancel the bid, that money goes back into your like liquid assets. So you don't lose it unless they accept the bid, but you do have to 
provide a guarantee that that you do have that money and you're willing to spend it and so it's locked off like while that's in place as far as actually navigating the map and things like that we can see over here on the left there's map satellite heat map prices 3d and there's a bunch of different ways to filter the way that you're looking at the map and things like that and we're going to have another video where we go specifically into what those are but right now it's kind of just laying the framework for stuff that's going to become more useful later that stuff isn't quite as important off the bat um at least not from what i can tell and there's a lot of land that's already taken but there's a lot of land that's not now something that you might have noticed is that the price of new land has dropped significantly from where you might have thought it was so when they changed the land tiles into tier one and tier two tiles it also reset the prices of unbought land more about that in the explanation of the tier videos uh in the explanation of the tier tiles i'll have a whole video on that we're just kind of kind of we're just getting you acquainted with everything that's kind of on this page right now right so one thing that seems like it has changed is tiles no longer need to be necessarily connected to each other to be a single property so you can have a little bit more freedom with how you buy property and it can be a little bit more disconnected and things like that as well also when you click on a tile you can see some more details and it shows you potential resources there fresh water sand limestone iron ore wood coal oil and gold now as far as i can tell none of these are actually in place yet and there is you can basically ignore this right now but in the future different parts of land are going to be good for mining those resources and so you're going to want to pay attention to those uh, it also ties into the way the gems work and all that stuff more in a later video but right now you can pretty much ignore this because there's not really any information being given just yet so that's the thing a lot of stuff right now that seems initially confusing is initial groundwork but there is really no functionality to it right now so it can be a little overwhelming at first but you can kind of just ignore it um we're gonna go into uh the hollow stuff um hollow building stuff much much later uh don't worry about that right now at all we'll do another video later going over the other stuff in here so we've talked about profile we've talked about resources hollow builder we're going to talk like talk about that later if you want to go to insights you can check out um some details about your land you can see what you bought it for you can see its current value it's kind of just a quick way to kind of compare some stats when you purchased it what tier it is how many tiles and uh again just another place where you can go and sell stuff you can go and view it and so it's a kind of a quicker way to see see your information outside of like clicking through your profile uh if you want to go to countries you can see statistics about the countries uh we're going to ignore building hub for right now transactions you can go and you can see your transactions and stuff so just kind of laying out like a lot of the information and stuff you know in easily accessible places a lot of this stuff is is self-explanatory but i just kind of want to go over all of it and give it the the bare minimum baseline so that we can uh continue to delve more into s more stuff later so that is just a quick overview of everything the layout how this works and now we're going to go get more granular and we're going to talk about each of those things individually um so but for now log in set up your two-factor authentication make sure you're getting your jewels make sure you're setting up your mentor and uh just interact with this every day it's just rewarding you for just like logging in right now you don't have to do too much with it um and there's not a whole lot that you need to understand right out the gate just log in claim the stuff either through your messages notifications on your profile or in your resources tab and uh you'll be good to go so next video we're going to be diving into more specific things about the different stuff we just went over. As always, you can use my code to get 5% off or 7.5% off, depending on a couple things, if you uh, had property before the November update. So again, it's already showing signs of rewarding early adopters uh, with free things and stuff like that and extra bonuses. So it's they're trying to reward people for getting in early. And while it's too late to go back in time and buy stuff before the November update, you can go in and you can start getting involved with this now and you can go in for a relatively small barrier to entry you can still find tiles for super super cheap you could get in on this for like 10 bucks if you really wanted to i'm not a financial advisor i'm not telling you to do anything but i am saying that they are rewarding early adoption and it's not that expensive to get into it so i'll see you next time thank you so much